race. Security at the Australian Open is expected to be bolstered for tomorrow night's match between Marcos Bagdatis and Leighton Hewitt. This follows the refusal by the Greek Cypriot star to apologise for a video posted on YouTube which has angered Melbourne's Turkish community. Paul Kennedy joins us and Paul, the video's heightened racial tension at the Open. Certainly has, Pete, and you cannot underestimate the range of emotions running among members of the Turkish community here in Melbourne this evening. The relationship between Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots here in Australia at least is a harmonious one, but their passions run deep. And everyone connected to the Australian Open tonight is hoping that the events of today don't cause any problems in the next 24 hours. They celebrate the presence of their hero, Marcos Bagdatis. They boast of recent deeds. But then the chanting turns less playful. Turks out of Cyprus, they say. The Turkish Cypriot community is appalled. It incites hatred amongst everybody. It reminds them of what's happened in the past. And we don't need to be reminded about that because we live in harmony here. We would like an apology uh, from uh, Mr. Baghdadis to the, our Turkish community here. But Baghdatis instead issued this defiant political message. In that video from 2007, I was supporting the interest of my country, Cyprus, he says, while protesting against a situation that is not recognised by the United Nations. Members of the Hellas fan club, who were hit by capsicum spray this week following an exchange with police, have created tension previously. The Turkish community watched last year when racist banners were held up at Rod Laver Arena. There are more than 6,000 Turkish Cypriot Australians living in Melbourne and they say the taunts from the Hellas fan club are growing louder each year and they want the Australian Open organisers to do something about it. The Open says it's not buying into the controversy but the Baghdata statement may be enough to ensure more is said about this before the tournament ends. Paul Kennedy, National 9 News.